punk ass laughed, okay? Now that's his daddy. His daddy just got his dick bit off, okay? Lil is, is Inky's younger brother. And Lil is the, uh, 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 Inky is, is uh, the oldest, the firstborn of a new. So he's much more mature, he was older. Inky went, ran, and, and went to his eight. And Lil laughed and shit like that, like a little, like a little fucking uh, boy, like a little coward and shit, you know? M very immature. Now, he was old now. Like I said, they live a long time, but, you know, immature for his age. You know, that's why a lot of, the, you, you got a lot of black folks, you know, that's immature for their age. That's why a lot of slave masters, you say, you know, refer to them as boy, you know? That's, you know, I, I'm, I'm guilty of it also. You know, sometimes I, you know, joke around and shit like that. I don't act my age. That's just in us. That's just like us. You, you know, in the Bible, even Christ was like that. You see what I'm saying? You know, with, with, with uh, joking around and, you know, a sense of humor and stuff like that. He wasn't serious all the time. You know? But back then, you know, life wasn't really hard for him. The hardest part of life was the atmosphere not being repaired. But life was good. You live a long fucking life. You know, you you free to travel the the, the 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 space. You know, life was good. So yeah, you can be like that. But nowadays, you know, it's totally different. But um, his ass laughed, and uh, you know, it it it, it was you know a, a, that's that drove a wedge. That that's what the, divided the Anunnaki. That that battle, that fight right there. Okay, because a new one of them dead. He's like, fuck it, I want your ass dead. But it, Inky said, no, we gonna do, we not already let this shit go far out of the way. Y'all shouldn't have been duking it out. We gonna do what should have been done already. We gonna form a council and we gonna ju uh, judge on this shit. We gonna do it the right way, like it should have been done. And during the council meeting or whatever, for the judgment of his punishment, you know, everybody said, okay, you, death is, is your punishment. Everybody ain't want to see him die, okay? Because you got to understand, he's, he, was still, he was still a part of them. He was still one of them. As a matter of fact, Alalu was Inky's stepdaddy, okay? Was his stepdaddy. I knew and Alalu were close. They knew each they probably fucking grew up with each other. You, you see what I'm saying? So, you know, that that was his uh his stepson. Anu's son, Inky, was Alalu's stepson. Meaning that Alalu's wife uh got pregnant for Anu, okay? She was a concubine. Well, I ain't gonna say a concubine. Well, yeah, she was a concubine. Okay? She was a concubine a long time, you know, a long time ago. Even back then. Like I said, they lived a long time. So when Anu had Inky, he was young. He was real young. Okay? And Alalu was much older than Anu. Alright? Now, when this judgment was passed, Okay. Anu said, I don't want him. Now, this, this took place on Earth. Now, this wasn't back on Nibiru. Still on Earth. Anu said, I don't want your ass here. I don't want you back on uh, Nibiru. I want you on Mars, which is the planet that you see behind me on the screen. All right. He said, you're going to die on the planet Mars. That's what, that's what I want you. I don't want you nowhere around us. You don't get no communication. All your ass getting is food and tools. That's it. And when they banished him to the planet Mars, okay? Mars had water. Mars had an atmosphere, okay? Probably still do have atmosphere, but NASA probably fucking lying to us saying that it don't. You know, you can't believe everything that that, that uh, come out of NASA. 
I believe the shit that come out of the lost book of Inky before I believe any fucking thing that come out of any institution these days. Okay? Now, when he was banished to this planet, the uh, pilot, okay? The pilot said, you know what? I'm going to stay here with Alalu. Me and him go way back. I know him. He got a good heart. Y'all done pretty much fucked over. He, he's the reason why we uh, are able to go back to Nibiru and stay on Nibiru. You know, I'm just not going to abandon him like that. Anu said, okay, you can stay. Uh, and I'll send somebody to come back, such and such. If you're still alive, you come back with us. If not, you on your own. Left him a lot of food, left him a lot of tools. Alalu died, okay? He died on the planet Mars. When he died, the Anunnaki... Uh, made a tomb for him. The Sidonia face that you see on Mars, that's Alalu. NASA say it ain't no face. No, it ain't no face. Mm -mm. Nope, that's just your lying eyes. That's not no face. That's just an illusion. Now, it's the, the Lost Book of Inky the text is fucking way older than NASA. If you get more out of that, out of the fucking lost book of Inky, than you ever got out of NASA. Every fucking piece of, any, any piece of information that they put out don't have shit on the lost book of Inky. Okay? Or any other Sumerian text. They fucking liars, okay? They're fucking liars. No, it ain't a face on Mars. God damn it, stop lying. Bitch, stop lying. That's a fucking face on Mars. Any, a child can see that shit. The Sardone is a fucking face. You motherfuckers need to stop. Alright? But I'm not talking about y'all right now. I'm talking about the lost book of Inky. Try to stay on track. Now, when this when they made the face, okay? Uh word word didn't get back to, to to the uh, the people on Nibiru. Only the insiders knew what was going on. That's why Anu did not want Alalu to come back to Nibiru. Alalu was going to, he was going to tell it. He was going to fucking tell it and maybe start a revolt or some shit. He's like, no, we got to keep this nigga here. We got to keep him in this, on this, on this side of the galaxy. Fuck that. We got too much, too much good going on. So that's why he was buried in a tomb on Mars and it was carved out with lasers from a spaceship the Sidonia on Mars. That's the Lalo. That's the Lalo. And you know the thing about it, I think that if you really read the lost book of Inky, Inky knew some shit. He went through some shit, okay? He went through some, that's about the only righteous person Within that, within that circle of the Anunnaki, you know, in the higher ranks, you see what I'm saying? You know, I, I respect Inky, you see what I'm saying? I, I like him. But the rest of them, I knew, I respect him for defending himself, but the thing about it, if, you really, if he really cared about his people, he really cared about Negro. He shouldn't have no problems giving up the throne. He fuck, even Mubarak gave up his damn throne. Shit. You know? So, I mean, that, that wasn't, that, the damn atmosphere wasn't, you know, all fucked up in Egypt. You know, Earth's atmosphere ain't, 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 wasn't as bad, ain't as bad as it was uh, during Nibiru, the time of Nibiru. So, when you have a state of emergency like that, you do whatever the fucking takes to save the planet. You know, because the planet, you don't make the fucking planet. But the people do. You can choke black ass up off that throne. You know, I would have done the same thing. Okay, you're going to save the planet? That means saving my fucking family. That means saving the food. That means saving the entertainment. Every goddamn thing. That, I don't have a problem giving up the throne. Fuck, you give me a severance package or some shit like that? Yeah, we good. 
severance package or not, we good. Even the fucking presidents of the United States get some kind of, you know, pension or whatever for serving, you know, serving a full term. So he, he was going to be good. He was going to be well off. You see what I'm saying? He was going to be all right. But there was that ego. It was that ego that didn't want to make him get up off the damn throne. Even though Alalu, he, he, he left the throne. He was on the throne. He left. Okay, but he thought about everybody when he, with the gold. He thought about Negro. He just wanted to fuck with, fuck with their heads and say, I found the gold, but I want my throne back. He didn't even have his throne back when he said, okay, when, when he sent the first fucking samples of gold. Okay, when he sent the samples of gold, he didn't even have a throne. He could have just said, fuck y'all. Point blank. You know, but he did not. He did not. Y'all, if, if you really think that the Anunnaki uh, were not human, still on that fucking trip about them being reptiles, reptiles don't cry, okay? I'm going to tell you that right now. Reptiles, in the Lost Book of Inky, it still uh, clearly states that when Inky and the rest of his crew found uh, Alalu, they all ran and hugged each other. They was fucking crying and everything. You see what I'm saying? That's emotion. That's fucking emotion. That's where we get that shit from. We get it from now. You see what I'm saying? That's humanity. Ain't nothing wrong. As, as powerful and as intelligent that they would can travel to fucking space. Tr no, not to travel, travel space. Travel outside the goddamn solar system they still had humanity left in them. They wasn't on this fucking high trip or whatever. Like, nah, this, you know, nah, I'm going to be a man. I don't need to show my feelings and all that. Nah. -uh. Mm -mm. They got it right. We, we done lost our humanity pretty much. As bad as the Anunnaki, they, they didn't, you know, they had problems back then. They still do. You know, the that's that's like all black folks. We, you know, we fight within our circle, our family. There's always somebody in your family that's the black sheep. You know, somebody in the family that's causing confusion and shit like that. Somebody that 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 think they better than everybody else in the family. Somebody always uh, spreading rumors and and keeping up mess and all that kind of shit. The Anunnaki ain't that much different from us, black folks. They black folks just like us. Alright, just just more advanced. And Inky, when he saw shit, you know, getting real bad, that's why he wrote the book. See, the Anunnaki put a lot of fucking work, not only in this planet, but on Mars as well. So they they already knew it was only a matter of time before somebody else is coming along to take a look and say, hmm. That's very impressive. Uh, we might try to come in and get in on this deal. You know? We might try to come in and, 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 and bargain with them and, and uh, trade and, and, and all that kind of shit. And eventually maybe hijack. Pretty much like Columbus did, okay? See, when Columbus came to America, he didn't call no fucking guns. He didn't say, okay, give up your goddamn land. No. He was like, hey, we're about peace, we're about love, we care about humanity, we want to be a part of your culture, every damn thing. It wasn't until the motherfucker learned how to grow food, uh, started raping women, and, 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 and knowing the land and shit like that, knowing paths, knowing the, the geographical locations, you know, and stuff like that. That's, that was like, fuck it, we know enough to take over now. So the Anunnaki, I'm, I'm going to say Inky. Inky knew. Inky knew what was coming. That's why he wrote the goddamn book. Well, I had somebody write it word for word. You know? That's where all Bibles came from. All Bibles. Every last one of them pertaining to this planet came from that one book. Okay? Came from that book. The Lost Book of Inky. Alright? Sumerian text. So, 
the, the thing with, with, with Inky, 